Hi everybody, this is Miss Madeline and today I'm at the Grout School Garden to give you all an update on what is happening in the garden this time of year. We are in the month of December, so it is almost winter here in the garden, but not quite yet, so we are still in late fall. It may be kind of a chilly and drizzly morning here in the garden, but it is still really full of life over here. So I'm going to be showing you what is growing in our garden beds and maybe who else is living in our garden. Some of our garden beds are still growing tasty edible plants such as herbs like this parsley and greens like these mustard greens. And these will do fine and they'll last all the way through the winter. Here's some arugula. I wonder if it's still tasty. Hmm, do you think I should try it? Hmm, yep. That's some good arugula, nice and spicy. A couple of our beds are growing cover crop. Cover crop is a mix of plants that we grow over the winter to help protect the soil. It acts like a blanket to protect from the heavy winter rains. And some of these plants even add nutrients back into the soil. It's fun to watch these fava beans sprout. This bed doesn't have any plants growing in it, so we covered it up with leaves to help protect the soil over the winter, like a blanket. Very similar to what we're doing with our cover crops. Cover up the soil with something to help protect it. We call that mulch. These beds, I'm doing an experiment to see if covering them with paper will help prevent the leaves from blowing away over the winter. One of our most loved plants here at the Grout Garden is our rosemary bushes. And these rosemary, they like to bloom pretty much all year round. These rosemary flowers are pretty and tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like rosemary. Our garden has a lot of perennial herbs that we can smell all winter long, like this pineapple sage. What do you think it smells like? Pineapple sage. Mmm! Smells like pineapple. And what do we think this lemon verbena smells like? Mmm! Sure enough, lemon! These aren't the only things growing in our garden. We've had all sorts of mushrooms popping up. Can't eat them, but they sure are fun to look at. What about other living things in the garden? I'm sure you've been hearing there's a lot of talkative crows in this area, and we've had a lot of other bird visitors so far today. I've seen a couple of California scrub jays, and I've been hearing an Anna's hummingbird. So we still have a lot of bird visitors in our garden. Some evidence that the crows like to hang around in here. Yes, I hear you crows. I spy a soil creature too. Even in the cold of December, we have worm friends hanging out in the garden soil. And a millipede. Before we go, I'd like to share with you a new sign that I learned recently. In sign language, this is how you say garden. You make a garden bed with one arm and you have three little plants popping up three times. One, two, three. Hi crows. And then you survey your garden, looking how beautiful it is. So let's practice that together. One, two, three. Beautiful garden. Thanks everyone. See you next time everyone. Take care.